We've recently launched a subscription box website, and today I'm going to give you a behind the scenes look at all the different tools and plugins that we used to make sure that our subscription box website is as automated as possible. Hey friends, I'm Davey with Davey and Krista, where we help businesses build brands and websites that reach more people, generate more leads, and ultimately grow your business. We recently launched a subscription box website and we're pumped about the way it turned out. We're excited to share that with you. But before we get started, make sure that you like this video, comment, subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos. And of course, have any questions along the way, drop those in the comments below so that we can answer those questions for you. And if you're in the market for pasture raised beef, chicken, and pork, be sure to go to farmfedbox.com where you can get a monthly box of pasture-raised meats delivered straight to your door. All right, so the website that we're looking at is FarmFedBox. Again, you can find out more information about FarmFedBox at farmfedbox.com. And here's the idea, here's the gist of it. Basically, people are able to go on that website and order a 15-pound box of pasture-raised beef, chicken, and pork that's delivered straight to their home each month. We wanted to make sure that this website was, well, easy to use and as automated as possible. Since we're just getting started, we wanted to keep things as simple as possible. So it was important to us that it was an easy to use website, that things were relatively simple and there weren't any complicated navigational items. Really, the biggest challenge through all of this was trying to figure out and automate shipping, which I'll get into more in a minute. We also wanted to make sure that the website was visually appealing, important for website designers, of course, had elements for different content types like an FAQ section, which which we thought would be super important for a new product, especially when that product is food. A place that customers could leave reviews. Again, something else that we thought was super important for a new product. An account section where customers could log in and manage their membership. And integrations with our marketing email platform and our transactional email platform because communication was going to be super important and we want to make sure that our emails are actually landing in people's inboxes. We chose to build a WordPress website using the Elementor page building plugin. We felt that this gave us the most control over our website a lot of design flexibility so that we can make it visually appealing, but that it would also be simple enough that non-techie teammates would be able to make simple updates to the website. We looked into quite a few membership solutions before ultimately deciding on WooCommerce memberships. There are a lot of different membership tools out there, but a lot of them are geared towards delivering digital content. And we found that if we tried to use one of those membership options, that there would be a lot of workarounds that we'd have to create to account for things like shipping a physical product each month. Since we decided to go with WooCommerce and WooCommerce memberships, that made things like shipping a lot easier. Also, using WooCommerce and WooCommerce memberships allows us to use another tool called WooCommerce subscriptions, basically allowing us to rebuild people each month or each year for their membership. And since we're using WooCommerce, we can also use WooCommerce gifting for subscriptions. This way, people can go online and purchase a subscription as a gift for somebody else. WooCommerce can be a little bit tricky to set up and learn. However, once you learn it, it is fairly easy to use. Something else I wanna say about WooCommerce is that each of these plugins I'm talking about often has an additional cost associated with them, usually in the ballpark about 50 to $100 a year. Yes, there are other more inexpensive tools that you can use for shipping a physical box each month. However, a word of warning with a lot of those other solutions out there. Typically, while they're cheaper upfront, they often take a cut of your transactions. So while it might be more inexpensive to use upfront, in the long term, it's going to get a lot more expensive for you. They often tie the subscription to their own platform as well. So if you ever want to leave that platform, it makes it really difficult to take those subscriptions with you without having people have to resubscribe to your membership. All right, let's talk shipping. This was by far the most difficult thing and complex thing to set up. Maybe that's why you're here to begin with. Obviously, shipping was something that we had to get right because we can't use the same shipping method for all of our memberships. Shipping a box to California often means that we have to do something like two-day air versus shipping a box to the Mid-Atlantic where we could do one-day ground. 
So we wanted our shipping solution to be able to do a few different things. First, we wanted to charge different shipping rates based on location. Second, we wanted to subsidize the shipping cost for customers who are out west so that they didn't have to pay the full amount. Third, we wanted to be able to shop the best rate across different carriers. And finally, we wanted to automate the shipping label process so that we didn't have to manually create and print hundreds or maybe thousands of labels each month. We ultimately settled on two tools. The first one is called Shippo. I'm going to talk more about that in a minute, but it's awesome and we feel really good about it. The second plugin that we're using is the FedEx plugin for WooCommerce. It does the job. Do we feel great about it? I don't know. And if you have a better shipping solution or know of a better shipping solution that integrates right with WooCommerce, be sure to let us know. There's probably something out there better than the FedEx plugin. However, it allows us to do a few things really easily, such as set up shipping zones and offset the price of different zones. This way, as our members are checking out, they are quoted an accurate shipping cost. Once somebody places an order, that order is automatically imported into another tool called Shippo. Shippo integrates directly with WooCommerce, so everything automatically shows up in our dashboard. And from there, we can shop the best rate and the most appropriate rate for each of our orders. You can also do a lot of things in bulk, which is a huge time saver. And once the label is printed from Shippo, it automatically moves the order from processing to complete. And you can even have an automated email sent straight to your customer with a tracking number. If you wanna know more about how we set up shipping, just drop those questions in the comments below and I'll get to you. But we gotta talk about reviews. Reviews are super important, especially for a, a new product and especially when you're doing online shopping. We wanted to make sure that there was a place where members could go and leave a review about their experience. I randomly stumbled across a tool called judge.me, which I guess was originally created for Shopify, but also works for WooCommerce. And at least at the time of recording this video, if you use the WooCommerce version, you actually get the premium version of the plugin for free, which is awesome. A few things that I love about judge.me, and I compared a lot of different review plugins, and I feel really good about this one. First, like I said, it integrates with WooCommerce, makes things super easy. It's a lot more visually appealing than a lot of the alternatives. There's a lot of control over what emails are sent out in asking for reviews. You can customize those emails so that they match your brand. And maybe most importantly, it was super easy to set up and customer service was really quick to respond whenever I had an issue. For marketing emails, we're using Flowdesk. And that was a super easy decision because, well, two reasons. First, you can create stunning emails easily. And second, it's only like $20 to use for unlimited emails and unlimited subscribers. It just simply doesn't get better than that. And if you want that same offer, be sure to check out the link in the description of this YouTube video. The only downside is that you'll have to use Zapier to integrate Flowdesk and WooCommerce. With that said, even if you were to choose a platform like ConvertKit, and we have a video on our channel comparing Flowdesk and ConvertKit, you would still need to use Zapier to connect those two platforms. And really, you're probably going to have to use Zapier for something anyways, so you might as well just go ahead and get that plugin. For better transactional email deliverability, we signed up for an SMTP account. And this just ensures that our transactional emails, those emails such as your order is being processed and your order is being completed, make sure they end up in people's inboxes. And we really hope that this will cut down on support emails. There are a number of other tools that we're using on our website to make sure that things run smoothly. A few of those other plugins include plugins like Zapier, and Zapier is just simply a tool that helps two tools that don't natively integrate with each other, integrate with each other, such as Flowdesk and WooCommerce. Rank Math Pro, it's our SEO plugin of choice. We have a video on on Rank Math Pro if you're interested in learning how to use that and tools like WP Rocket among others to make sure that our web page loads quickly. And if you're thinking about launching a website platform soon, be sure to check out our videos comparing popular website platforms like Show It in Elementor, which you can find right here on this channel. All right, there you go. Of course, there's so much that we could cover when it comes to a subscription box website. So if you have questions, drop those in the comments below. We'll get back to you and we might even create a future video based on the question you're asking. And be sure to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any future videos.